Hey guys, we're gonna make a master study of Bridget Riley's movement in squares from 1961. So if you have a ruler, it's pretty simple to do. First thing we're gonna do is turn it so that it is vertical up and down and make stripes. So we don't really have to measure them. The way we're gonna measure them is by using the width of the ruler. So you're gonna line the ruler up with the edge of the paper and then make a straight line. Okay. Then you're gonna line that up again. So now the ruler's lined up with the straight line you just made. You make another straight line. And you're going to do that all the way across. Make sure when you're lining it up, it's lined up the whole way across. Don't let it be crooked like that. We went straight across lines. Okay. So now we're turning it back to the horizontal and we're going to start the same way. So we're going to line it up with the edge and we'll just make a line that goes down. Okay, and we'll do that a few more times. Now, as we get closer to this part of the paper, this is where we want it to look like it's bending in. So we're gonna move over there and make a stripe wherever you want the bend to be. Okay. So now, very close to that one, I'm gonna make another line. So these are very close neighbors. And a little bit further away, but still very close, you make another one. So as we get closer to these that are all the way spread out, these are going to get further and further apart. Okay, so now I move it over a little more. Making sure my ruler is straight up and down, not crooked. It needs to be straight up and down. I'm going to move about that much over. Okay, a little more. So now as we get closer to that line I made over here, it gets skinnier and skinnier. Okay, So now we're going to do the same thing, go from skinny to big on this side. So I have that line, I'm just going to move in a little bit. You can line it up and then move it over just a little bit. So when I take it off, see how it's close. Okay, line it up, move it over. It just looks like we've got squares and then they turn into rectangles. So the whole illusion isn't quite there. What's going to make it, um, the illusion really show up is coloring it. Okay, so you've got to color this like a checkerboard. I'm going to color it with markers. Um, Bridget Riley just used black and white, so it really did look like a checkerboard. I'm going to use colors and we'll see if the fact is better or worse the same. So to make a checkerboard, you have to do the diagonals, okay? You have to make sure the corner colors are ones that are colored. Every other one's going to be white. Um, and since I'm doing more than one color, I'm going to try and do them in a row. 
So this would be red. Right, and so then if I go to color it, Okay guys, so I finished coloring. Um, yeah, I think it works pretty well. Maybe not quite as good as Bridget Riley's. Um, if you wanna do black and white, you can. Uh, but it's pretty fun to do the colors. Um, the things you need to super pay attention to, um, is coloring these little ones is pretty tricky and keeping track of which uh, square you're on next especially when you get to the little ones is tricky. So make sure you're only doing corner neighbors and all the other ones stay white. Okay, bye guys.